yang Arul pun after dia menang Azan Shah pun dia ada komplain juga hmm. that the team dia nak komplain he needs a So sekarang ni kita nak berbalik pada macam tadi lah Great ha. adalah orang yang pakar Family pun <coughs> semua main hoki So baru-baru ni kejauhan hoki uh, Kita dapat dapatkan 13 Ada yang kata uh, good performance sebab kita menang Ada banyak 2-3 game kita menang Tapi ada yang kata daripada segi gameplay Agak kurang So Great sebagai yang dah lama follow hoki First overall performance Apa pandangan ni? Performance is bagus Result is horrible sebab 13 But then that also depends because of the cara format dia, format dia, dia lah tak, tak bagus lah. But performance I say good because like saya cakap tadi kan, we menang 3 game daripada 6. Last kita menang World Cup 2002, mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, 21 years ago. No, so in between ada lah, we, we went to the 2018 kalah semua game, the draw satu game, so the progression ada. Mm-hmm. And then uh, some people say, oh penalty corner teruk. No, not, not good enough no? Malaysia should last dulu ada Kuhan lah and few mm. others but you look at the World Cup penalty corner conversion Australia baru 30% no? and they are considered as one of the best mm. game and holder kan but only 30% conversion rate so bukan kita bukanlah teruk sangat and then the problem with Malaysia uh, they say is oh the field goal dia kurang ada, but got 14 goals in 6 games again not not great lah but kita okay lah ada is compared to I said the, the last World Cup and the World Cup before that and then sebelum 3 World Cup betul-betul tak pergi mm. so we have seen the last two now first 3 World Cup tak qualify now last 3 World Cups have qualify so I said the position I said teruk because 13 it doesn't reflect the real the real uh, mm-hmm. uh, the real ranking lah mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we will finish second in your group mm-hmm. there are 4 groups mm-hmm. so by right you should be top 8 ready top right? by right lah but because of the format they kalah so unfortunately kalah So if you look at and then the one game they kalah to South Africa. Betul. South Africa only game yang menang dengan Malaysia. Dia kalah 5 game tapi finish 11. Mm-hmm. Higher than Malaysia. So something is not right there. Lah. Betul. Uh, you cannot salahkan the format because that already you knew in advance. But something is not right lah. So you cannot give alasan oh format bodoh. Mm. You dah tahu sebelum you pergi itu mm. format. Then some people say sebab Besum uh, main South Africa Malaysia was Different, different city the match was 800 kilometers away Betul. so the travelling time and then South Africa had one more uh, day's rest again it's alasan but that's affected in lah so but, so again for me performance wise it's not reflect I mean uh, ranking doesn't reflect because memang they deserve higher ranking but you screwed up at <laughs> the wrong time lah you call out the, the wrong wrong team lah then Spain should have won the game yeah, actually sure. not two to draw and then uh, penalties Then they could have referred to the the goal that they scored. They refer, they refer to that. Mungkin goal chopped off. Tapi tak, dia tak buat. So, so mistakes to be bad. I said, since Arul has taken over, kita nampak ada progress the team. Last year, dia menang Sultan Azhar cakap. Ada tu pun ada orang cakap. Team, team bagus tak datang. Uh-huh. Bukan salah kita kan. Uh-huh. You go play tournament. If the team kat sana, semua hebat, you kalah. You kalah. If team hebat, you menang, you menang. If team tu tak bagus, you menang, you menang juga. Dia takkan tulis asterisk. Oh, dia menang sebab uh, Australia tak datang, India tak datang. Juara is Malaysia. So, that is, you can say, menang orang ketuk, tak menang pun ketuk. So, same thing. Uh, so, but there is progress lah, you can see the team. Dari segi individual performance pun, ada juga yang stand out kan. Macam hmm. keeper Hafizuddin, hmm. Marhan, Faizal Sahari of course kan. Yeah. You tengok macam mana dia orang punya development individually. Now, what do you think, see, the, like you have that Sabahan boy, uh, what's his team? Lupa, yang score dua goal against Japan. Uh, uh, yeah, lupa. <laughs> My tulis tadi, I left it there. So, so, we have a Sabahan team. Mm-hmm. team. So, dulu kan, uh, players from East Malaysia, kurang. Mm-hmm. Sampai sekarang, only the women's hockey team biasa banyak Sabahan Sarawak, sebab mm-hmm. they all tough, kan? Mm-hmm. But men's team, to get a Sabahan or Sarawakian, memang susah. So that's why the like I said Shamala started the beginning kan. Datuk Shamala she did the one Malaysia program. Mm. She now the National Hockey Development Program. They started to find these these players to masuk. So it's good not just because some people say oh dulu hockey ada Cina dia Melayu sekarang semua Melayu saja. Mm. That's that's what people say lah. So, oh because the, but you can see there is progress. People are coming from Sabah to play. Mm. The then like Faizal Sari he's been around for you know, since the time was on the field ni mana main still scoring goals still still important and dia 
uh, his skills pun like Minawan juga lah any angle dia boleh score you know, so people say oh but so tua tua pun what don't care kan Nanji hmm. can perform so you can see those players coming in and um, like I said lah not qualifying for and not not um, sticking to just this group of players betul dulu pool dia semakin pool, besar lah, sekarang kan. dulu like you got 16 players alah next five years 16 players je maybe one <laughs> masuk tu now you can see others coming in so there were so many players in the in the squad that could have made the final final list lah tapi tak ada so good that is good for Malaysian hockey lah tapi uh. Syami Ifan eh, pemain muda tak silap eh, yang dia first time datang Uh, pemain pada dunia mm-hmm. dia pun buat gol itu so yeah. dia perform I think 21 tahun tak silap yeah, lah. so you can see this are all part of the development plan lah. so the okay, one mistake hockey selalu buat is dia ada the development plan tapi tak follow through look mm-hmm. at Belgium Belgium had a 10 year plan mm-hmm. last World Cup they were champions this World Cup second sebelum ti, sebelum ni siapa dengar Belgium main hockey mm-hmm. bola ada lah <laughs> bola ada. Ha. and then every time like last time Malaysia qualify for Olympics 2002 Belgium ada tapi Malaysia kalahkan Belgium Belgium out of Olympics so then after that they came out with a 10 year plan 10 year plan start from juniors to go everything then we saw the the results lah world champion in 2018 Runners up now So we should go back to, We have the development plan To find out why all is wild Why not plan ada Macam bola juga Why not plan Tapi After that Simpan kat cupboard ke ada, eh? Tak jadi So we need to make sure You got the plan You got the work The grassroots is more important lah. That's why I said One Malaysia dulu And now the, the uh, National Hockey uh, Development Project You need To make sure It follow through lah. You go to all the schools And the hockey Sekarang school pun Bukan semua Sekolah, sekolah main yeah. Then, so turf dulu dia kena mahal mm. so not all schools can so they have to rent kat, kat KL they rent dulu uh, Tunas at Stadium semua kan so you need to see how can you get more players more players to play hockey to follow through lah so the development that's what is lacking the execution development the execution of the plan tak ada oh I want to do this I want to do that so now at least we have these programs hopefully more and more budak datang so 21 is kita kata muda tapi for Mat Salih 21 21 look at EPR juga 17 years old <laughs> makin kita kata oh muda 25 se muda so 21 is not muda <laughs> but for us muda is because we start lambat hmm. really start lambat baru mungkin dia main 3-4 tahun kan baru 3-4 years tapi kat sana dia start when dia under 9 under 12 under 13 so 21 dah 10 tahun dia main dah like I school to Liverpool lah you got under 16 under 19 and I think so and you will have and all they have all those things so by the time they reach 21 they have so beberapa tahun main how many games they have played and then they play not just main macam sini MSSL ke <laughs> main untuk 2 bulan 2 uh, minggu habis game and then balik <laughs> study uh, so they have all year round so hockey should do that also lah so <clears throat> so I think the development program they should do maybe daerah here daerah then have a major one so plan properly so that if Belgium can do it <laughs> why not Malaysia kan Belgium and we have facilities ada sponsor kenapa you know, like. kenapa kena, kena, okay. kenapa you rasa eh, kalau dekat Malaysia bukan setakat hockey ya, semua sukan pun agak sukar untuk dia stick on long term plan politics <laughs> and politicians <laughs> tukar-tukar ha, tukar-tukar lah ha. like if this like dulu sports minister kan one will do on X Games then perindustrian women in sports e-sport e-sport so keep tukar-tukar-tukar then you focus kat mana <laughs> you should and then everybody thought, oh if I continue this program dia dapat nama bukan saya itu masalah dia so you should not bother about getting a nama lah do your job whether right now it's like safe spot juga uh, Hannah Yoh baru hari ni kata cakap she's doing, uh, not going to follow through itu yang uh, Peja buat sebelum ni he was he was the one leading leading the safe spot act so dia kata but Okay lah Because uh, Hena cakap Sebab Di Ada cukup Loss lah To jaga Sexual harassment Whatever In in Life in sport So dia tak perlukan uh, Say sport act Whether it's right or wrong It means decision lah But that's an example Of not following through A previous uh, Minister's opinion plan So same thing Like I said lah We had Perlu industry last time In uh, Shabri Shabri Chik Shabri Chik was at this thing After he left Koyak <laughs> Then after They started balik again Now they, they're talking about it again So if he had started that time The Tenda. The got structure in place Everything kan So You're starting from From scratch So same thing with uh, Football juga Different Different person masuk Different 
you asking government for money you know also it's always politics then the fellow want to say something the fellow want to say something how to follow through mungkin satu factor lagi ada tak you rasa mungkin suka nak kini bukan suka sepopular macam bola ke badminton hmm. budak-budak sekarang tak minat yang kita memang maybe kekurangan yeah. yang play mungkin Uh, yeah, then, sini it, yang goes, it goes back to not having enough pitches lah Like dulu, like football, mana-mana boleh main Badminton, Kapaga pun oh, boleh main <laughs> Hockey, you need artificial pitch So how many schools got artificial pitch? I don't know, they go, they KL, you go to To Lazar Stadium kan, macam tadi kan East Coast, berapa pitches dia ada So how to attract the Yang kampung-kampung datang main Mungkin ke bandar tu je main <laughs> yeah. uh, So that's why, like the program they do no? They go to the smaller schools They keluar uh, out of town kan they go but there's no pitch ok lah you can teach them basic lah main indoor hockey for instance so at least ada lah basic dia tahu pegang hockey stick dulu pun so many coaches yang datang Malaysia like Polisek and then um, Walker Nap Terry Walsh all they say they are coming for national team tapi basic fail <laughs> no you, yeah they are very good at goreng bola nak dribble tapi like stopping properly mm-hmm. ball get stopped so many fillers not doing the right way because they tak diajar daripada mm-hmm. tahun sekolah so that is the problem so if you don't uh, get to the young I teach them okay this is how you hold so, yeah, tadi saya tak tahu kalau saya tak tahu how pegang lah but if you ask them <laughs> you tak tahu how to pegang no dead stop thing, okay? you start from then so then he was saying um, in Spain they have they start from under 5 oh. uh, start from under 5 indoor my indoor yeah, my indoor just hit pass 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 uh, Then you progress to the outdoor. So here, so here we need to improve our indoor, uh, indoor hockey. So once you go indoor hockey, you learn your basics and then after that, you go to your uh, short turf and all that. So at least you got basic lah. Takkan ni nak, as 13, 14 years old, nak pergi main hockey, tak tahu how to bergang, maka stick semua, susah lah. Uh, so like even any spot pun, we start from, mm. from young. So we need maybe to progress that part lah. Try to promote more. And now, also MHC has started Indo tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, they, dulu zaman dulu dia ada, then died off. But now start balik again. How to do? Mm-hmm. Uh, have more more Indo tournament. So they doing that lah. So hopefully that will see more young players come up lah. Hopefully lah. Then masa lawan Spain tu mm-hmm. KBS dia anjurkan uh, live screening, mm-hmm. screen besar. Do you think benda tu good start untuk tarik balik perhatian orang terhadap hoki and untuk promote sukan tu sendiri lah sebab hoki tak mengecewakan layak hmm. olimpik layak world cup and dia deserve perhatian sebegini it depends who you ask lah <laughs> but the lot of people kata oh bang duit better you use that duit to do other stuff but like you said having that big screen sana will tarik uh, perhatian orang so some people like say oh I bring my kid lah pergi tengok tengok this game big screen ok So you get to see, but they should have also brought ex players to datang. Mm. So that like half time kan, oh they can get to say something. Mm. So this yeah, you, you come and just watch the game. Mm. Baik duduk rumah tengok, <laughs> <you know, laughs> ha? buat kopi ke, duduk kat, kat uh, on the floor ke, put the leg up ke, macam mana ke. Some people nak rokok, ya, tak bagus tapi dia rokok, <laughs> dia sana, kan? So you can do all those things at home. Mm. But if you want to go there, yeah, you feel the atmosphere like bola is different, bola is yeah. you know, different. Yeah. Should bring ex players ke to come, have a talk, meet, meet, in, like, yeah. a, like a meet and greet, mm. whatever. Then you don't have to them, you don't have to like banyak banyak. Just invite aja. Mm. Most of them are in, in, in mm. KL area. Yeah. No, so if you want to take the uh, our station, the one mungkin kosan, just take people in KL. Ask them, see, hey, you know who can come for this game, whatever. Or even the players who didn't qualify for the squad, the reserves, right? Tak tahu juga. At least you get to meet them. Yes, oh, how you feel you get to talk to them at least something kan it's good to have this but we have to have other stuff lah to attract people also because you need to know eh, who is person I don't know then when you speak to them like football so you bring some talker they go talk to the players they all like oh wow so you bring some of the players juga kasih them to get the crowd excited juga lah macam Vince sendiri uh, abang dia juga seorang junior uh, untuk coach ada tak dia bagi you some, dia beritahu dia you something yang maybe boleh diubah ke untuk play-play junior ataupun progress lah untuk bawa ke depan apa yang dia nampak masa dia lah training yeah. junior yeah, so dia, dia cakap sebab dia kata he's been coach 
uh, overall coach, I think more than 10 years, 10, 15 years already. Uh, for now with the junior coach, I think almost two years. So see, that's a the problem is uh, the plan, uh, the mm-hmm. execution, mm-hmm. the funding. So you need to start. So uh, most, that's why I said one of the programs we started was the indoor hockey. Because once you have indoor hockey, you learn your basics. So, uh, bukan dia yang cadangkan lah, tapi when someone, yeah, that's good because then when you have this indoor hockey coming in, the budak-budak can start. Tak payah pergi kat stadium. Uh, so, once you dah start pegang hockey stick, seperti uh, minat lah. <coughs> the minat dengan sport tu. Without passion. Because uh, right now, you just wait, oh, stadium. <laughs> uh, bila eh? Uh, so, you don't know when. So, he start main all the time. Like football, like football, you play all the time. So, memang you minat, oh, eh, mana-mana boleh main. So hockey has to be like that. Make sure you can play kat mana-mana. You can play. Uh, make it easy for people lah. The other thing, memang equipment pun got expensive. Ada murah. So bukan dia like, oh, uh, kasut bola pun ada yang murah. Ada yang yeah, beratus, 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 beribu pun dah. Hockey, same thing got. I pun tak tahu tu, I tengok, ha? Thousand over bucks, two thousand bucks. Zaman dulu, I tahu lah, dua puluh, tiga puluh, you get the chips, tiga puluh. So now, you can still get for hundred ringgit juga. Hmm. But for juniors, it's okay. Hmm learn the basic so one thing that he always complain maybe is funding lah I mean I think any coach kat mana pun always akan complain pasal funding lah mm-hmm. you need more, need more so if we but again how do you get the thing by doing well in the World Cup by doing well in the Olympics which is the qualifiers ujung tahun ni lah Asian Championship if they menang go, go to Olympics so Olympics pun dah 2000 so 2000, 20, yeah. 23 years so next year so if they qualify first time 24 years lah so, we need to get success to get funding to masuk juga lah. Kalau kita tengok sekarang, uh, <coughs> penglibatan bekas-bekas player zaman era kegemilangan kita. Hmm. Macam Datuk Minarwan sekarang sebagai manager. Hmm. You rasa perlu tak yang lain-lain juga dilibatkan juga? Lebih ramai penglibatan player-player yang hebat masa dulu at least untuk bagi motivation ke inspiration hmm. ke and share teknik ilmu macam mana? Should lah, but sepatutnya ada if that and also, but whether they are just that lah. Some some ex players whether it's hockey or football, mm-hmm. pandai cakap saja. Oh, uh, patut macam ni macam ni. Tapi bila you panggil dia, oh no time. Mm. Ada duit ke? Uh, so some of them ask, yeah you should betul. give something lah. But the first question should be, got money ke? Got the duit tak? No, is that if you not minat, you tolong. Then it will come in. So a lot of players again, not hockey saja, but other sports, especially football. Everything in Malaysia doing do well. Oh, they follow patut ni, paper will hantar everything. But then when some people ask them, oh, tak ada masa lah, nak tolong. So, salah siapa juga. <laughs> so, for hockey, they just should try because I know a lot of these players, but I kenal some of them. So, they sanggup tolong. Oh. But nobody, nobody ask. Oh. Sometimes. Uh, and then, okay, sometimes lah, uh, schedule clash, kita boleh. Mm-hmm. But you you put a proper plan lah. Uh. Okay, maybe uh, in, for next month, we go here, here, here. Betul. If we go to Melaka, uh, ada orang Melaka tak? Former player tak? Mm. So, so, you do some plans like that. And, Sure to get, mesti dapat one or two players lah kan, akan tolong. And of course, a lot of us also nak tolong. Tapi mostly the vocal ones yang pandai cakap je lah. Hmm. Okay, macam you tengok, you dah lama dalam hockey kan, hmm. bila you tengok Coach Arul. Adakah you rasa start 2020 tu dah Azlan Shah home now, hmm. start Azlan Shah tu dengan World Cup, then ada tak ada right track untuk kita, dah lama tak layak Olimpik ni, last hmm. tahun 2000 macam mana you nampak performance? Sebab mungkin hmm. Olimpik, jadi sukar sebab kuota Asia tu dah jadi mungkin dua tiga tim je boleh lihat tu yang susah tu ada yang Arul pun after dia menang Azlan Shah pun dia ada komplain juga hmm. that the team dia nak complete he needs a physio full time so which is pelik kan you are national team ada, you ada. don't have a full time uh, physio or psycho- psychologist in the team so dia train again budget lah so but, but you are going to the World Cup <laughs> you need that person to be there yep. make sure that everything is going because World Cup bukan SEA Games or Sukma so ada uh, World Cup so pelik kan that your team is doing well and then he got uh, another trainer masuk that one Datuk Sri Subahan bayar sendiri or found a sponsor oh. because MSA tak juga budget again bukan salahkan MSA because kan government potong budget everything but you can prioritize lah teams that going like World Cup going to Asian Games going to Olympics you find a way to help those people if you just tada duit tada duit and then if the president if the president is pemalas which some presidents are just nak kerusi sebab I president tak tolong then susah lah 
Ustaz Idriswan Subhan ada orang yang tak suka dia ada orang yang suka dia tapi dia ada buat benda ekstra dia cari funding for that particular trainer because coach minta now he ask for another funding say, oh susah sikit sebab dah dah dapat sponsor for this uh, this trainer tapi for the psychologist and this dia tak cukup so but they are still trying to find so after I think MSN ada ada attach for the tournament lah ada tolong but they say yeah it's not just before the tournament before the tournament before everything and then also like Azan Shah they went training commando training in uh, Perak uh, we wrote the story hari tu I lupa nama dia uh, so I said the training commando because it's different it's not hockey it's dia dengan this ex commando they went to his camp dia dia torture sikit but, not, mm. but bukan torture teruk lah but <laughs> dia change the regime change mm-hmm. it, push you through to mental capacity then he said look then the talk dia bagi dia he said like you must understand you are special because kat Malaysia ada 32 juta orang so out of that maybe only 200,000 main hockey out of that only uh, maybe 50 masuk to national team mm. out of this baru 16-18 orang boleh qualify for this ni so you must always think you are special jangan sombong lah but you are special but don't go over so he train them mental training you know commander style no, then you go to the jungle lah they say trekking lah this thing so I said it was something new which they have never tried no? I mean dulu pun ada training but this one for this batch lah they have never done all these things kan they bawa 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 then the players pun like it coach lain lah because different lah because say if you do the same training after what pun boleh juga so they said so this one uh, I think was Uh, MHC yang organise bukan KBS so MHC organise event something different so president and the committee right, must play a part juga right? just because the team sudah macam tu I tak perlu risau you, you find ways to make it exciting so they went they train and masa tu dia pergi training is not just the squad yang pergi Azhar Shah the, the full squad lah then after that they will return down who goes to Azhar Shah but so at least at the community oh this is the batch of boys who are going there everything <coughs> so they went And came out and they saw all these things need to be looked into not just oh you're going to a World Cup next month okay lah I send you this person the training before that the planning before that is very important lah let's say let's say dekat Malaysia ni you orang yang paling power lah dekat hmm. hockey you ada ada semua source yang you perlukan okay apa priority you untuk lakukan untuk sukan hockey maybe struktur liga yang lebih panjang atau kompetitif atau pembangunan yang you priority all go back priority. to grassroots grassroots once you got enough players kat bawah ni tak perlu risau now let's say now the the number of players very kecil I dulu my, my brother was kat Singapore dia cakap dia buat people main hockey kat Singapore daripada Malaysia oh ah, the sekolah-sekolah tu sebab dia, dia buat macam zone tau kata di zone uh, ABC 3-4 sekolah ok you share this one pitch so 3-4 sekolah ada the pitch hmm. so dia kata he was, he was surprised dia kata oh, more players play hockey in Singapore Singapore kecil je but, but the the number of people was, was quite high compared to Malaysia but Malaysia sebab memang maybe dah talented sangat <laughs> ok so the, they are better but then Singapore after they tak follow through lah they just they just main then they follow through Malaysia at least got other tournaments and all that so they were So he was there, uh, one of the clubs they coaching was to do. They put, wah, the, the club will adopt the sekolah. So say I, for instance, maybe JDT lah now football kan. So they can adopt tiga empat sekolah ni under them. Hmm. Uh. So then they will come and use the facilities, use everything all. So for hockey, in this hockey club, that area tu, uh, okay, di tiga empat sekolah dekat kawasan dia, they adopt this uh, this zone lah. Then you main. So they bring, so the players got the budak-budak tu ada tempat untuk main hockey so cost the club tanggung lah so you don't need to bayar rental now you want to go sekolah kena bayar rental kan mm-hmm. ha. here the club yang bayar so that's one, one thing you should do development here but here the problem you got clubs banyak hockey team nah, hockey league 8 team 7 team mm-hmm. TNB semua and all that but the TNB got junior team but that's it they, they jaga the junior team dia tak, dia tak tolong ada team bukan salah dia lah this different yeah, structure yeah, kan yeah. but so he was saying Singapore was like that so that's why a lot of kids were playing But whether uh, they might to a different level, lain cerita lah, but at least they exposed to skits lah. Mm. So we should do things about that now lah. So now, our league start 9 February kan, I cakap tadi. Yeah, um, I think what, 8 team aja. 8, 8, mm. 8, 8 team, I think. Then tak termasuk the juniors lah. The juniors are going to play there. So, how come so few, so what are the 7 teams there going to do? Terengganu is doing okay, because Terengganu, they have won, I think last two championships, then 
they have done a lot of uh, development juga so there is like Faisal Sari is part of the Terengganu development here is better Fitri mm. uh, so they came from their development so because they did they got the club had funding from the government uh, you go and, and cari cari budak budak so they did that so if other if all states can have one club that is cukup pun okay. uh, then at least one so they got uh, 12 sta- uh, 13 states kan, plus FT all that. so there's 14 clubs there if we all can do that how many players we have Mungkin sebab Oki Kebanyakan yang saya tahu Juga Player bukannya full time kan hmm. Kebanyakan Mungkin salah satu Ya, yeah, but the national team All full time They all train bo- <laughs> uh, Kerja mereka Is to train saja uh, So they cannot Give alasan Oh, they Yeah, not the Gaji may not be As like football But you have Full time job Is is to train saja Everything is provided hmm. So the, the Not as lucrative As football But ada duit lah okay. uh, And so once you are inside Say you inside the National team Everything they can take care of like you, got, you got insurance You got this You got that Training allowance And also Memang is good Some of my brother Training allowance RM2 <laughs> uh, So at the 1975 World Cup The finish fought pun Tak dapat apa-apa oh. uh, So like uh, Foreign country Like Holland won the World Cup Players don't get anything Sometimes they have to Buy us they need to fly Malaysia everything mm. Government provide mm. So there is budget But always We always complain Not enough So it's matter of Uh, so like going to the grassroots Make sure that more players come and, and tell them ada, There is a way to make a living lah For hockey lah Bukan think of football saja Hockey pun ada duit Sikit But Like Faizal Zari I think his gaji with uh, Terengganu 15,000 tak silap saya So kerja dia is play hockey For Terengganu The Terengganu Hockey Club 15,000 Plus plus the other thing lah But that was the gaji So okay what okay. You, you kerja kat Office berapa <laughs> dapat <laughs> Okay I nak you letak diri you sebagai fans You ingat balik you sebagai fans Siapa top 3 player hockey Malaysia yang you respect You suka lah, you suka <laughs> Aku, Uncle, cousin, brother <laughs> <laughs> um, Good one lah uh, Kibinawan of course is there eh? mm-hmm. Kibinawan, number third or first? Uh, no ranking Just No ranking, ranking. <laughs> okay. 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 Top 3 okay. lah Kibinawan <laughs> So this one tak termasuk family so kena kawan. Uh, okay. uh, non family member. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike when in the saying mm, as a defender about mm. the thing. And then goalkeeper have to, susah because Roslan jauh dulu was good. And what's that? Uh, the Indian fella. Uh, Kuma S Kuma. Uh, so the, uh, called S Kuma is good because longevity, you know, so many years they tahan play for Malaysia. So, to stay in the team for that long dedication that he had some tragedies but he still came back so mm-hmm. that is from, I, I'm using all the Astro Turf in the area lah. Uh, I, the grass grass area because again the, the different. work kind of different uh, so I think those three and then because it, uh, all of them shifted together a little bit so that was when the modern era that's when Malaysia was doing well lah. mm-hmm. 98, 2002 mm-hmm. Olympics in 2000 so that was when the Malaysian team was Based on the Astro Turf era, mm. that was the best period lah. So that's why I put top three, yeah. top three, three and one plus one more Roslan lah. Uh, your best PC taker, your favorite PC taker. Lah. Do is when I started reporting kan. Mm. So most of the matches I dah tengok uh-huh. dia main. So yeah, which cannot top three lah, top five lah put Kuhan. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so the at five tu, then of course we said Kuhan tu kan. When we are watching, that's when he's baru baru make make his name lah. So. Mm-hmm. And then covering hockey with those days zaman dulu at Tulaza Stadium mm-hmm. dia main uh, four games back to back so dia pergi at uh, 2 3 o'clock balik 11 malam so every game you watch so when in uh, mm-hmm. hockey league so every game that uh, nasa tu dia go to for INS and all that mm-hmm. we watch almost basically watch all their games lah mm-hmm. so to see some consistently scoring goals which is good lah that's mm-hmm. why they, now they have calling back as a consultant for the I'm not consultant to help the national team mm-hmm. to run the corners lah mm-hmm. Uh, so they've just called him back I think Starting after, I mean After, after, after lah. Lah. Oh. Come and tolong lah Give I don't know whether It's just uh, Part time or whatever But So I said again Go back to what you cakap tadi kan If you ask old friends to come back uh, He sanggup datang uh, see, So that's why There are people who Sanggup akan tolong And some people who like Mana? Duit yeah. uh, So Dia akan cakap-cakap Just buat dia kerja je lah 
Okay lah Settle okay. Mungkin ni Sebelum so, kita last Kita kacau-kacau sikit <coughs> Sebab katanya Team favourite Liverpool EPL Nombor 9 Liverpool Liverpool Sini pun banyak Liverpool Cakap cerita sikit Pasal Liverpool lah Untuk macam Kita sendiri Peminat Mungkin dah lama Follow Liverpool kan Bukan Liverpool Macam dia Fan Arsenal lain Tak apa kita nak minat So Apa untuk season ni daripada last season uh, kita tahu daripada dah dapat kau double tiba-tiba season ni terus silang tiga tinggal Champions League dengan EPL je so apa komen apa menyebabkan pada you lah apa kurangnya ya, season ni kurang partly dia I think last season cakap three games hmm. kan penat and the, and dia tak refresh the squad midfielder dah 3 years kita tunggu for midfield tak masuk lagi mm-hmm. so partly to blame FSG lah tak bagi funding mm-hmm. tapi you cannot say dia stingy sebab dia spend 8, uh, 68 million on Nunes mm-hmm. naik to 85 he ada plus plus kan with mm-hmm. 85 million couple pun 40 plus million so they have spent but sometimes maybe not in the right positions lah Betul. because midfield is more important striker I'm not saying couple tak bagus but midfield is lacking so striker okay bad bad problem is three players injured at the same time so last day baik Kapo masuk at the right time lah because Firmino Diaz. Jota and Diaz are out but if they were not injured would they have what Kapo Kersin is no but why buy him when you know midfield kurang you takkan nak tunggu Jude Bellingham next season mm-hmm. this season you, you perlu you perlu reinforcement so that's it baik uh, Stefan how you pronounce his name That the, the Petavik Young boy lah Oh young boy lah Nasib baik He's Munya lah sekarang He's doing very well But you cannot harap Always young boy to come in Henderson I suka Henderson Tapi this season teruk I suka mm. Fabinho But memang Horrible Dia main So maybe That's where It's lacking lah So hopefully This season is off Off season Klopp punya 7 year Curse <laughs> And then next season Balik again lah Sebab you Learn Arthur Miller pun Injet ah, <laughs> so, Tapi uh, Soalan ni subjektif Sebab bila I tanya Fan Liverpool Dia berbeza-beza jawapan ha. Okay untuk you Berapa besar Impact kehilangan money It's Impact dia besar Tapi Yang besar sebab The year susu injet So kan The year is actually Is replacement for money Bukan hmm. Nunes Nunes is not The left He yeah. can play left But he was central yeah. But Diaz was brought in To replace Mane Diaz dah okay dah Maksud uh, you Kalau Diaz ada If, if Diaz ada Still It's the Because Mane dah, dah familiar With the mm. players everything. So that is memang You rugi lah But In terms of style I think Diaz and, and Mane Lebih kurang Kalau last season pun Before Mane left He was playing striker Diaz was playing on the left Team still Doing well but. Mm. Bukan that Only Mane was on the left And then uh, Diaz on the right Diaz was playing left uh, left midfield which is Mane's position so team was clicking right? so I think yeah of course losing him memang sad lah but losing Diaz after li- losing him uh, not still losing jatuh uh, di uh, tipe tangga lah uh, so the, 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 the replacement sudah hilang uh, injured hmm. so that's the problem uh. kalau untuk you sendiri <coughs> Adakah Klopp masih Levin untuk stay? Of course, of course. You, you, you masih Champions League dia, coach juara. <laughs> Champions League juara. Stanbul. 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 Again, see, he's sexy in 17 years old, kan? Mm-hmm. Tak main EPL. Malaysia mana ada <laughs> budak kan main ke the M-League. Kata too young. 21 pun too young. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. uh, but so, they, he's doing that. So, maybe in next season, it, hopefully, like, uh, if they get Jude Bellingham, but I doubt because Salim Madrid yeah, coming yeah. in already, get somebody who can fit there. Even, um, what's that player from Villa? Uh, Villa. Nanti kalau kita nak really sih city, one more player, forgot. Berarti dia buat looking some of the options. One more is from the championship. Sandberg is playing playing in the championship team. Oh. Ah, so some people say, oh, why not beli the championship? Yeah, but Andy Robertson from from relegated team. When Highland, ah, uh, Genie also from relegated team. Shakiri also was there. So just because they kapawa doesn't mean they are not good lah. Maybe like, fit the system. Like Liverpool team, the players too, some of them, bukan special. The system makes them special. They tahu how to cover everything, right? So, it it suits their style lah. Like Salah, people say, oh, the Fulham mana boleh score goal if you get line team? Maybe, but with this system, form system this uh, uh, play, 
just call him and go, so that is good for him lah. But, like I say, if you bring this young boy, let's send the bird, bring him in, orang ketuk je, but if he can do the job, it's only one way. Because Liverpool's midfield is not, is functional. Dia bukan flare, tak ada flare. <laughs> the passes, uh, Robertson and mm. uh, Tryon coming kan, dia yang creating most of the time. Mm. People say, oh, midfield must be creative. Mana ada? Yeah. All is all is yes, Liverpool's midfield between them, hardly any goals, which is one of the problems lah, tak score banyak and tak create banyak. But that's because their job is functional. Do this, do that, jaga black line, everything. So, that is what is missing and I think doing that job is very tiring. <laughs> Kalau untuk you, uh, opinion you about Salah after new contract, hmm. new salary, suddenly macam season ni tak berapa? No, it's because again lah, the front three, front three tak cukup ke- Keep changing lah, keep changing, keep changing. System so ada change sikit, so it's not getting. He by right, like, hal tu the FA Cup patut score lah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, should have scored. So, then cycle, same like that. So, if two, three games tak score kan, lepas tu your confidence pun lari sikit. I think once he start scoring one, two goals, uh, you'll see lah, he'll, he will still, he'll get maybe another, now already got. 17 goals jadi kita ok lah I mean not great but 17 goals but only 7 in the EPL mm. the previous years double figures this year only 7 15 it not only 7 but in Champions League top scorer mm. uh, so for the Gapo his need time need a lot of time because <laughs> they probably Liverpool tahu kan club punya style is new, new signing duduk sebelah mm. the only player that masuk terus was Diaz mm game terus main hmm. kan like other players come satu bulan dua bulan tapi one thing I don't understand why Gapo striker but Gapo should be on the left, the left. Huh? maybe he's trying something that we don't know because we don't see yeah. we are not watching the training yeah. kan? so maybe he sees something there lah but for me Puan Gapo Nunes and Salah instead of instead of Nunes on the left Gapo on the left kan? hmm. because he main he can play all, all positions left right center and also in midfield but he's Main strike is left. Efficient di kiri. Yeah. So, like, Nunes, last season, for Benfica, 27, 27 goals. But, he scored hat-tricks while playing on the left wing. Two hat-tricks. <laughs> But, not as striker. Two hat-tricks he scored was from the left. Because he can cut in. Maybe he's thinking that way. I don't know. I mean, we don't know how he thinks that. But, so, I said, when, when he's on the left, because he got speed, so, and he can score. But, uh, right now, the shooting pun teruk. <laughs> confident got hilang. It's okay. Uh, pressure. Oh, banyak okay. kita dapat hari ni wow. Kita ucap terima kasih okay, Sekali thank lagi thank kerana sudi bersama kami Bagi ilmu, bagi maklumat <coughs> Bukan setakat kami je rasa Ilmu tu bagi manfaat untuk kami Kami percaya anda juga yang menonton Akan dapat manfaat daripada perkongsian hari ni Itulah tujuan kita adakan Podcast macam ni untuk sama-sama Sentiasa dapat bukan setakat berhibur Bukan setakat menonton sahaja kan, Syam? Betul, betul. Alright. So teruskan subscribe YouTube channel kami Panggil semua kawan-kawan jiran <laughs> semua Like, subscribe sebab kita nak kejar 100k <laughs> dan terus follow semua sosial media kami so guys jangan lupa uh, Liga Malaysia pun dah nak start sekarang ni kita tengah sibuk dengan pre-season dengan launching JC terbaru support kita punya sukan tak kisah bola sepak ke badminton uh, hockey. Patro, hockey semua yang betul yang orang nak bawa nama Malaysia kat situ kita support uh, atlet-atlet kita ok so jumpa next uh, content content kata thank you guys <laughs> bye bye Assalamualaikum ciao